venison snack sticks and fishing a great combination There he is, at last. Uh. Well, not a big one, but I was about to think that uh, that old Charlie's worm was not gonna cut it today, little fella. Yep, there we go, there's another one. All right. Maybe that old garlic scent turned them on one time. Let's see. Plus one difference, I was in the shade back there, and now I'm in the sun, and I'm fishing around structure uh, brush that's been put in, or through, through over. And on a sunny afternoon, sometimes that makes the difference. And you're in a sun sun area where some of the brush has has uh, naturally fallen over or man-made fallen over, they'll gather around that brush. Because bass is structure-oriented anyway, for the most part. This is a private, around a 40 acre lake, and uh, we were advised by Fish and Wildlife that some of the bass under two pounds needs to come out of here. Uh, haven't, haven't done such a successful job at doing it. I just, I guess I, you know, I need to put some of them little peanuts in the in the cooler but 
I have a hard time doing it, but I should because it would help because I think the ratio, the food, the food source is out off balance. Because we used to have trophies in here. It's been a long time since I've caught a trophy out of here. And uh, one thing is I think that the food source is not enough to sustain uh, all the small bass to, to grow at a decent size. It's just not enough food source, obviously, to help all the bass to grow. Okay. Thought I was having a little hot, sp a little dry spell there for a second, but nothing to it. Anytime you have a major lake, small or, or large, and at times when you've got a canal that, or channel that runs off into the woods, into the swamp or whatever, away from the main lake, like this one here, it goes back down in there that way. Sometimes at the mouth of those lakes, in a little bit, out a little bit, for some reason, the bass want to congregate around and you'll, you'll, you'll pick up a few in that area. So if you know any lakes that you're fishing and they got channels or canals running off of them, Stop in that area and fish for a little while. You might just be surprised. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? They're congregating. The entrance is right over there. I'll be still. Not monsters, but. Oh yeah, come here, come here to me, come here to me, rascal you, hey, you almost got off. Focusing around that canal entrance. And sometimes they may not be directly in that area. I have seen them before swimming in the canal, then back out, then in the canal, then back out, and then little cutlets, then little inlets. Like I said, then little runs off the main lake.
Of course, I'm not a pro basser, but I do catch a few every once in a while. That's one thing about living in the south. It can be one temperature. Two or three hours later, it might be 10 or 15 degrees cooler. When you're in circumstances like that, you always need a backup like a shirt. There he is. Woo, jump for me, baby. Come here. Boy, he jumped up out of the water. I don't know if the camera saw that. The little dude jumped up out of the water like a marlin. Hmm. That's one way to catch him, is come out bumping kind of slow fishing, bumping the worm, just casting it against structure if you can get it that far and or, or anywhere really on the bank and just kind of just kind of bumping it along the bottom, twitching along the bottom and uh, you just might catch a fish. So uh, thank you for joining me. It's a it's been a beautiful afternoon, uh, beautiful day, uh, getting kind of brisk now so uh, we'll see you guys later on.